Hi, Fudgies, and welcome back to the Family Fudge. Today, Mackenzie and I are going to share with you all the fun, awesome things available at Walmart for back to school. So come along with us. This year, I'm taking the kids out one at a time so that they can pick out their own school supplies. And today is Mackenzie's turn. We got to the store right when they opened so there weren't that many people there. Yes, I definitely recommend going early when they put out the school stuff and early in the morning if you want the best selection. First off, we found backpacks. So many backpacks and they weren't expensive at all. Most of them were around $9. They were super cute. I'm very impressed with all the selection this year. I really like the mermaid sequin one. Yeah, I do too. I don't know how it's gonna hold up throughout the year, but it is cute and it was only $9.99. Now they also have plain backpacks as well if that's what you prefer. They also have backpacks that come with other accessories like lunch bags and water bottles. And those are about $12. But look at this yellow backpack. You only live once. They also had some non-pink backpacks. But check out this one. It has a fuzzy ball. I noticed that on a lot of backpacks this year. They have this little fuzzy ball. And then this one has emojis. All of the emojis. My favorite are the dancing sisters. Now, if I was a kid, I would probably pick this one. I love the rainbows. But Mackenzie... I love the unicorn one. <laughs> this one was all fuzzy. It had several different colors. This one had a unicorn on it. And this one did not. I just don't know how these would hold up. I would think that, you know, if it got rained on, it would get really dirty. It may be hard to wash. I'm not sure. The kitty cat one was really cute, too. Yeah, I love the pink nose. There are so many backpacks here. You can tell we get excited about school supplies. And then we found even more glittery, sparkly backpacks. They had a blue mermaid sequin. Actually, I think this was teal. I really like this one. We also had the multicolored one. And then... I found a JoJo backpack. It came with a bow. I was surprised the bow was a little bit small, though. I found my favorite workbook. Yeah, Brain Quest is awesome. I kid you not, there were even more backpacks. And I'm pretty sure Lily would like this one. It has shimmer and shine. <laughs> That's a funny emoji one with some fur. There was also Paw Patrol, Black Panther, Spider-Man. Lots of stuff for the girls and the boys. Out of all of these, I really like your Rapunzel. The detailing on this is actually really nice for the price. Here's what my mom would like. It's rose gold. Yes, I am partial to the rose gold. These would match my Minnie Mouse ears. And this again was only $9.88. Not bad at all. I also was a big fan of this frozen backpack. There's glitter and gold detailing. It's really pretty. I was definitely excited to check out the lunchbox selection, but unfortunately it was just the regular stuff at this store. Maybe they're gonna put more out later, but they did have these trays. I use these trays all the time when we have lunch at home. It comes with a big variety of items and it's only $5. And they have a couple different color choices. They also had a few lunch boxes, but nothing really that special. I definitely think Target has better lunch supplies right now. However, I do really like these containers. They're only $1.50, so a little bit more expensive than the dollar store. This one has two compartments and a little section for the fork and knife. These yogurt containers work really well. I've purchased these before. And then they also have a bowl one, so if you wanted to pack yourself a salad. And then I was really excited to see these because I like these containers from the Dollar Tree, but you only get one for a dollar. And here you get three for a dollar fifty, so it's a pretty good deal. You can put your salad dressing in there or ketchup. It's perfect for lunches. So they have teal and a pink color, a gray color, and a blue available. Now this isn't necessarily back to school, but if you have someone going off to college, this is perfect. All of the utensils they're going to need, and it's only 20 bucks. Now in the back to school section, I was really surprised to find these planner accessories. These look just like the ones from Michaels, but they're half the cost. They're stickers and sticky pads, all different kinds of accessories. And they also had washi tape. I don't know about the quality of these, but they definitely are cheaper than Michaels and Hobby Lobby. 
Now these bins I'm excited about. I love the bright colors and I love that these are interlocking so they're gonna stay put. You can organize so many things in here. You get five for about $10. And of course we had to check out the pencil cases. They had these traditional ones for 97 cents and they have several different colors and I use these ones a lot. They're great for organizing. There were a lot more pencil boxes than just those. Yeah, they had so many. Iridescent ones, quilted ones, ones with inspirational quotes on them, different animals, sequins and glitter, and Kenzie's favorite. A zip it! So a zip it is like a big zipper, and you can actually unzip the whole thing. And then we found these cute things. They look like stuffed animals, but there's actually a zipper in the back so you can put your pencils in there. They had several different ones. A puppy, a different kind of puppy. They were adorable. They also had these cute ones. They had flamingos and cactus. Super cute. Believe it or not, they still have even more pencil cases. Now I'm not sure why, but I definitely was drawn to the ones with sequins and sparkles. <laughs> they were definitely my favorite. This one's pretty cool. And they also have these hard cased ones that are expandable. Pretty cool. And they also had pencil cases with designs on them. Yeah, this is like a traditional one. Just a little bit jazzed up. A little bit nicer, but still pretty affordable. I love that one. Yeah, not too bad. Only $144. And then, of course, we have these hard-sided ones with holographics on the outside. They're a little bit pricier, though, almost eight bucks. Now on to the things you really need for school. Like glue. They had lots of different kinds of glue. They had name brand and generic brand. This Elmer's glue is one of my favorites. You get 12 for only $3.92. This year they had crayons, colored pencils, and markers all scented. My favorite crayons are the twistable ones. They last a lot longer, they don't get crushed or broken. We also found this, this is really cool, 64 crayons and a little plastic case to put them in. Now on to markers. The regular ones were 97 cents and the store brand was only 50 cents. Here's something we've never tried before, erasable colored pencils. We have never tried these, so I'm not quite sure how well they work, but the Crayola brand was $5.97 and the Crazy Art was $4.94. So let me know in the comments down below if you've tried these and if you liked them or not. I really wish I had a locker this year. I know, there were so many cute accessories for lockers. I loved having a locker in junior high and high school and I would have loved these things, but they didn't have this stuff when I was in school. We just had plain lockers, wooden clips, magnet and then this one's really stylish a magnetic storage cup and then this is a pretty good value it comes with all of these different items for only $9.72 it came in the pink and the teal color and check this out you guys locker wallpaper yeah we did not have this kind of stuff when I was in school and you can even add a shelf to your locker for even more storage they had teal ones pink ones silver ones and black ones to the pens. They really had so many different kinds of pens here, but we don't use a lot of pens. So I have to say that if I was getting some for me, I'd probably go with the classic Papermate. They're not expensive and they work pretty well. You get a whole pack for only three bucks. They have colors and plain black. I do like to stock up on my Sharpies during this time. I'm also a big fan of the highlighters and the color Sharpies. $5.97 for a pack of eight. And now on to the notebooks. They had so many different kinds to choose from here. This is the cheapest one that you can get. It's one subject, they're a quarter a piece, and they don't come in very many colors, but they definitely will do the job if you just need a simple notebook. But around the corner, they had lots more options. Like these ones, a lot more stylish, but these are about 88 cents to $2 each. And I love this one. Today, I choose to be a unicorn. Yeah, I saw a lot of unicorn and mermaid stuff, things with sparkles and glitter. I have to say I'm liking the trends this year. But first, cupcakes for breakfast. Uh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Check out this one, it's Lisa Frank. Now when I was in school, we all had Lisa Frank stuff and I would have loved this, especially the ones with kittens. That was in style when I was a kid. 
And of course, they also had three subject notebooks and five subject ones. And then these ones are college ruled, so the lines on the paper are a little bit smaller. These ones are really cute too, only $1.97 each. They also had some really cute composition notebooks. They had lots of different colors. Some were 88 cents, some were about $2. Again, with the unicorns and the glitter. They also had the traditional ones. These were only 50 cents. And then they also had some planners and journals. This journal is really pretty. Don't forget, you are awesome. I love that. I want you guys that are watching this to remember that as well. You are awesome. Oh yes, we also found more washi tape and stickers for planners, planner accessories. Those are really cute. Yeah, I already have a lot of this stuff though. I'm gonna try to not get any. And then we found these student planners. Now when I was in school, we were required to have a planner and if we didn't have a planner, we got in trouble. Too bad they didn't have any cute ones like this though when I was in school. Now I have to tell you one thing I'm definitely not purchasing this year and that is post-it notes. Now I have nothing against post-it notes but I do have a sad story. I had one of these bright pink ones on my granite countertop in my kitchen and Griffin spilled water on it and it stained big time. And then we found the crates. Yeah, these are great for organizing things like books and school supplies. They had smaller ones and larger ones. These are definitely my favorite. I love this teal color. These are about $4 each. The smaller ones are only 99 cents. The binder section was huge. Yeah, I was really impressed by the variety available at Walmart. They had every different size of binder, every different color. These ones are $1.92, and I have to say, these are so much more durable than the ones at the Dollar Tree. So definitely get yours from Walmart if you can. Now they also had some fancier ones with decorative covers. Those were about $5 each. And of course, the good old Trapper Keeper. I know they don't call them that anymore. <laughs> That's what they called them when I was in school. And I didn't always have one of these because they're pretty pricey. They were pricey when I was a kid too. Today, these are about 15 to $16. Okay, budgies, we hope you had fun shopping with us. We found so many cute items. Let us know in the comments down below which item was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.